You guys. Ah! Are you ready? You ready? You ready to learn how to bake the best health tea of your entire life? Should I tell them what we're making? Shit, I just told them. You ready? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am not even gonna pretend that I've ever made stuffed cabbage in my entire life, but I've been eating the best stuffed cabbage my entire life, and I feel like you guys should eat that too. So I brought in the pro. You need help? My mama! Okay guys, listen to everything this woman says. I'm gonna try to get out of her way, but we're gonna make some killer stuffed cabbage today. Some Chastor is my mother's birthday, so every year we have like a nice big gathering of people, and Halopti are the star of the table, for sure. And she'll also make them on like a random Sunday because we like food a lot and their hearts are just great. Usually I buy the cabbage, curly cabbage. The curly it, one. So the other one is like smoother, whatever. This one has like this texture on it. And it's like a stretching. It's like stretching material when you curl. <laughs> material? When it, when, yes, yes, that's what it is. Okay, so you have to cut out the middle. The core. Then the core. I already would mess this up, I feel like. Okay. Right. And okay, so put it in so pot. Now we have this. And, we and put the it boiling in pot. water. You don't have to salt it, you don't have to do nothing. Just make sure you Your hands. <laughs> That's why I wear gloves, okay? This I know because I've watched her. As this boils, um, the outside leaves cook obviously more quickly than the inside leaves. So she kind of tends to remove the outside leaves like as they're ready and then the you rest open, of it. I'll show you how it's open and right. then the middle one is needs more. So we're just gonna let um, it like go Meanwhile, we're gonna work, what's this? This is not enough. This is not enough, Esti. You need bigger. Okay. Bowl. Oh, that's my bowl. Okay. So we put two cups of, of rice. Two cups of rice. Two cups of rice. Ground beef. I saute onion. This is about one second. Okay, so all of her measurements, this is why I'm here. I'm here for you. All of her measurements are eyeballed. So that's two cups of rice. You're welcome. That's about two and a half pounds of ground beef. This is one giant softball sized onion that was sauteed without any seasoning whatsoever. That's going in here. And then what? Salt and pepper. Salt pepper. So here, salt and pepper. We've got some salt. I never measure when I start making halopchis. We didn't have a weight, we didn't have a measuring cup, we didn't have, we had eye, a little bit this, a little bit that, and okay, came very delicious. And it always tastes the same. I don't know how you do that. It always tastes good, it always tastes the same. How much pepper? You say when to stop. More, more, more. Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So now we need, um, what do we need? We need Tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. Yeah, it opens. It's cool because the thingy cuts the foil. Whole inside. thing because it's good to have liquidish. It's gonna be like the rice is gonna absorb all liquid and it's gonna be very soft and delicious. So these these are um, about 17 and a half ounces or like a 15 ounce can. Yes, and also. We need some paste. Here. Can you open? Here. Do something, Esti. The you back just, of the thing. It you don't cook. You just came out of recipes. The, come on. The vai. The vai showing holocaust. I'm not used to this okay. fancy thing. The whole thing. Half of it. Half, Half of it. Half of it. Okay. You're not That's used it. to Enough. Tuscanini. You're never gonna go 100%. back after Tuscanini. Now you just have to mix it nice. That's why I use gloves. I, I can use with a fork with this. this we don't is, do tools because we don't wash dishes. And who needs more dishes? Now, you think you'll let me make them this uh, simplicity? You think you'll let me? No problem. Oh, I thought you were going to say no way, no chance. <laughs> it's done. Done. Okay, let's see what our cabbage is doing over here. Cabbage, I think it's already done. So what we need to do, we need to... Whoop, I'm sorry. We need to open the... The outside leaves. Outside leaves, which one are going easy. If not easy, then you have to put it for a longer time. You take them out and to leave the, the rest of it inside. Did you salt enough? I don't know. Yeah? I we can add some more salt. And then I have to mix again. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll put it. I'll mix it and I'll change the glove. Is that enough? More than before. 
It's not wrong. It's not wrong. So now we've got our empty pot here, nice and clean, and we're actually gonna layer it. Wait, one second. Before we start this, you have to talk about the pot, right? Because you said, because I remember when you told me what to bring here, that it has to be like wide like and that. flat. Could you make it an oven though? You could in make like a it nine an by oven, 13? but you should have room on top, but because when water is gonna boil, it should not boil up. Right, there's a lot of liquid, so keep in mind that there needs oven. to be. You can't have a mess in the oven. If... Okay, so but she always makes it in a pot, and actually you can freeze these, so you can roll them up and then freeze them. So she freezes them in like a nine by 13 in a tin, um, but when Four she- Four time. Four, ti four tins at a time. And then when she cooks it, she defrosts it and then layers it in here. We'll show you how to do that. But we have like a wide, deep pot going on over here. Also, I like to put on the bottom a little bit cut cabbage. It should not burn. This is gonna make you- It's like cabbage. a buffer. A buffer. Top and also on top. Then right. I cool. like that. I like adding it to my, not to my plate. Like I like those pieces. All right, cool. Now so you take a leaf already, steam one, and you cut off this hard part. What's the name of it? Called ribs. 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 Oh, everything has ribs. Okay. So we cut it off. Slow. And Guys, watch. And now you look in the seam and the in the big rib. The center. You, you're ripping down. Look how nice. That's how you do. I try that. There's no way I'm going to do it well. There's no way. Okay, cut this off. Why do you have to cut it? Oh, it's not going to be nice. It's not going to rip. So now you rip in half. Okay. Find the center. Like, find the center and look how nice it looks. Ah! Pull it, pull it. I'm scared. <gasps> I did it! Did it. Okay, Why did so I do this? I don't want to make all of them. It's fun. I want you to do it always. Cut it off. Take a center, wrap it, next. Oh my God. Okay, now, you you take it like this, you put on your hand. hand. Wait, I'm gonna do it also. Oh, you wanna do the same? Wait, does it matter which side? It goes like this then? Yes, yes. Okay, so you want it, you want this it way. like this. It's the best I could do. It. Put one spoon on top. Scoop it more. Yeah. Like that? Like that. Okay. Now, put the corner sideways, like cone. Oh, we're rolling it into like Roll a cone in, shape. Like a cone shape. If it's gonna fall out, don't worry about that. You could fix it. Take this out. And then what, and then you stuff, mine is ugly. Then you stuff this inside? Inside, and then it's gonna roll the whole cone. Like I did okay. it! Next. Okay, next. And then we layer it in the pot, like that. Kind of like around the perimeter in circles. I think I used to. Put, put in a pot test. That's my job I was trusted with. I'll put them in the pot. <laughs> I've failed my ancestors. It's like art and craft. That's how I call it. when I cook. Everything has to how be nice so tiny, and man? cute. Because some of them tiny, you have small oh, leaves, and some of them bigger. This method might be a little bit different from the way that you normally make or eat halibzi. I'm just gonna keep calling it halibzi, that's what I call it. You wanna call it stuffed cabbage? Sure. So the method might be a little, oh, I'm cutting it from the wrong side. The method might be a little bit different. The rolling is definitely something that I haven't seen anywhere before, but it's also a savory version of stuffed cabbage. There's no sweet sauce. We're gonna get to the sauce in a second but I love it. I don't, I'm not a fan of like that sweet. Um, yeah, but if people like sweeter, they could add sugar. Right, so my sister likes it sweet, so she adds sugar to the sauce, but I would definitely try it this way first. I see you're gonna like it, you're gonna make it from now on. No, I'm not. Oh, very nice. Now, I have a question. I'm sure that this never happened to you, but what if somebody doesn't wanna boil it in the pot and roll it up? You ever did like a unstuffed cabbage? Yeah, <laughs> unstuffed cabbage, it's called lazy. in Russian Linevi Holopchi. It's lazy Holopchis. Lazy, which one you cut pieces of cabbage and you could do it in the a, same mixture? The same mixture, just add water and cabbage pieces. Why wouldn't you do that? It's so easy. Because I'm not lazy. <laughs> That's why. They were extra, just. Take it down. Okay, so we use like two and a half pounds of meat. This is gonna make like ST, ST, ST. You can stop it. You could talk and do something. 
I just realized like this summer when someone brought it up that the rest of the world doesn't eat halab tea with mayo, and we do, and I thought it was normal. Um, it's because I think what stuffed cabbage like is traditionally eaten with sour cream, but yes. this is like, we started eating it with mayo before there was part of sour cream. I never tried it with part of sour cream, I wonder if it would be good. But we just kind of like stir in like a little dollop into like the meat and the rice and like the broken cabbage, it's so good. Once you get to the small ones, basically. So you could use them whole the same way, just not different shape. You could roll it and then just stuck in the hands. Each side, both Each of them. Each side is going to be like real pot, okay? Like the kind that so you want. Mine is designed love. because I like to make different everything. They're not the people. I don't know why, but. Because you're trendy, ma. Okay. So the now. rest you could also cut from top. Right, and then we add the we. If we have extra leaves, we, we cut this on top and spread it nicely because when it's cooked, kids like to take this. I like to. My, my baby also. Okay, we're ready? What's that? We're talking. I'm gonna start. And then we'll we'll stop talking. No? <laughs> okay, now we're ready to cook the halapsi. So again, at this point, you can freeze them. I would freeze them in tins just it's easier to store in the freezer that way. Um, but once you're ready to cook them, you just have to defrost them, right? First, you can't cook it frozen. No. You have to defrost it, layer it in your pot, and then what do we do? So we have tomato paste here. You have tomato paste, you have to dissolve with water. Dissolve with water. So we're just gonna kind of make like a tomato-y, slurry kind of thing. And a little sugar. Just to cut the acidity. That's fine. Very good. And then some water so that there aren't any like clumps of the tomato and then we pour that into here. And salt, right? And salt, that's it. Nothing else goes there. Okay, let me rinse it. So fill it with water, should cover yeah, like... Let me salt. More, more, more. More? more? Yeah. Good? Yes, and you okay. water. Okay. We have to cover them because the water is going to boil and the rice is going to absorb the liquid. Right. And also it's going to, it's going to like swell in there. I like to there. cover with the plate. Then it's keeping them the same under shape, the water level. Under the water level, it's going to keep them in the same shape, like one hour and low. I just want to do like that kind of mixing of the salt and distribute gonna boil, it evenly. Boil is going to mix. Oh, it does it on its own. Yeah. It's pretty lazy, man, not to do it yourself. Okay. Sometimes I have to. So we keep it covered with a plate, and we bring it up to boil, lower it to a simmer. You cover the pot also? You cover the pot. Cover the pot also. One hour on low. So one hour at a low simmer, it'll take, and then really you can start to test it once the rice is as cooked as you'd like. Don't cover full because it's gonna boil down this way. Okay, fine. It's easier. So one hour, covered like this, you want that much water in it, right? Yes. Covering so that it can absorb all of it, and that plate on top to weigh everything down. And then like this, like this, and wait. So patient. One hour later, you could eat. So we're gonna let this go. And we're gonna see you guys in an hour, in a TV hour. Okay, one hour later, it should look like this. We take out this plate. Uh, check it out, Mama. I made holes. Okay. We made holes. It's good. Now you could take out on the top. Water was absorbed all the way. And you take out this part. Not everybody likes. Who likes? Let them enjoy. I like it. And you see, and it's the like so The first beautiful. one is gonna come out a little bit harder because you have to make room, and then the rest is gonna come out nice. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. We made like cones. It's tag nice. Hardly sauce. You could even put more water. Right. Whatever. Some people like with sauce, some people without. Okay. I like to eat. I know that. So let's check it out. My hands are full of milk. Are you ready? Break it open. I don't know how did you wait so long for them to be ready. I know, right? No, you're not going to eat with me? You're not going to do l'chaim? No. I cook. When you give a press, then you eat. Fine. You taste. Mmm! You have to make this recipe. Enjoy. For more great recipes just like this, go to kosher.mom.
That's me. <laughs> okay, get the on to everybody. All of this are ready. I'm confused. Yeah. Okay, so now here's the thing. You're gonna want to see. I really know how to cook. I just don't know how to make this. Welcome back to Difficult Does It. <laughs> Wait, ready? Who's talking? It's a storm outside. My chickens. We'll make soup. We'll make soup. I don't think you invited me to this party. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, my chickens. Thank you, Mama. 